Okay, this video is about 3.1 rate. Okay, make sure you have your notes with you. And then you're going to do the calculation with your calculator here. So first of all, if you are going to consider one orange, okay, so you know that for part and short, for three orange, that is 10.9. So for one orange, that you do the division like this one, and then you're going to have a uh, 3.6333 and so on so probably you are going to put down a uh, three significant figure that is 3.63 and with the dollar sign okay and then for welcome you should know again for this one that will be 14.9 divided by 4 so that will be a uh, 3.725 so here if we talk about rate actually it's about two quantities of different kind okay different kinds by division okay basically it is the keyword by division okay so that is actually about a quotient as well okay that is also about quotient okay so here for activity you just skip it okay and then for this one uh when you are going to find out the rate of typing in words minutes remember this is what you are going to put down in uh in a denominator or numerator okay that should be in the numerator okay and for the later part will be the denominator okay so you're going to have a fraction or to, to have a division uh, for a you're going to have uh, the rate equals to so the word will be 1300 and then for minutes that is 20 minutes okay so after the division, you should know that that is 65 words per minute, okay? And then for B, her rate in word an hour, this time you should know that for 20 minutes, that is actually uh, divided by 60, that you have the hour. So again, you're going to have uh, maybe this time you use the calculator and then you have uh, let's see this would be 3,000 words okay per hour and then for the last one uh, if it if it is about uh, she type okay the word this time so basically you're going to use the rate times the time okay so you have the time here that should be 65 words per minute times eight minutes so you should have uh for this one eight two four five hundred and twenty word okay so this time uh let's check example two here so uh the price Again, this time per dozen, that means per 20, uh, 12. Okay, so you should know that for one, uh, 96 divided by eight, that will be equals to 12. Okay, so that is for per one, okay, per pieces, okay. So if that is about uh, 1,000 or 12 that means you are going to multiply it by 12 so that will be 144 per thousand okay that's a key for you so this time uh if mary spent y dollars for five correction pens so actually you're going to calculate five correction pen cost so here you should know that for one that is equals to 12 so you just use 5 times 12 that will be 60 dollar okay so y is equals to 60 so okay without the unit because y here you can see y without the unit okay so next example here will be about uh, you have to do the comparison here so you basically calculate the rate of both of them so for n, the rate 
or the speed here actually uh, you have kilometer here and then for 540 and divided by 7.5 hour so you should know that will be uh, 72 kilometer per hour okay and then for Albert uh, the speed will be close to 600 meter divided by 20 second so that will be 30 meter per second so we cannot compare two rates with different units here okay so you have to make something or create something so that they have the same unit so here method one you can change n speed okay actually you have 70 i'm uh, sorry 72 kilometer per hour you can change it to 72 times 1000 and then divided by 60 times 60 okay second okay so you will change it become something like this so you do again divide it okay use your calculator and then you have 20 meter per second okay so you can see this uh, for Albert it is smaller than 30 meter per second so Albert drive faster is it clear and if you are going to use method 2 here you can change it Albert speed okay so basically you just have 30 minutes uh, meter per second when you multiply it by 60 and 60 okay and then divide it by 1000 and you will change the units here okay so if you use your calculator again you have 1000 sorry 108 kilometer Per hour so it is still larger than 72 kilometer per hour so the same conclusion you should have okay so for the last one uh, Tom walk a distance at a uh, four kilometer per hour for half an hour and then a, a, a speed of six kilometer per hour for another four hour so basically first of all you calculate the distance so that will be equals to four times one half and then add six times uh, one fourth so you have two at uh, three over two so that will be three and one half kilometer here so you have to find out the average speed this time you just use the distance divided by the time okay so uh, I guess it is quite easy for so many of you here basically sorry here should be divide uh, device so uh, that will be something like this so you have 28 over 6 okay that's you should mind the unit will be kilometer per hour okay so that's for per each one and then page 2 here uh, because there is given the quantities here that is the rate because there are two kinds of quantities and for the selling price of apples actually you know this four apple four apple equals to twelve dollar so for one apple it is basically equals to twelve divided by four so you know the equation will be here price equals to twelve divided by four that is three dollar okay per apple so you have to add the units here and then for b jenny's friend told her they need six apple more did she have enough money to buy all the apples she needed so uh after uh she bought something that means after she spent twelve dollar she has only eighteen dollar left okay so that you should bear in my first and then six apple will cost her uh, maybe for three dollar per, per apple multiply by six that will be 18 okay so 
uh, Jenny will have enough money because she have eighteen dollar remain, so she can buy the food. Is it clear? So maybe for cash practice, you just pause it here, and after you finish, you just pay it. Okay, you just pay it. Okay, and I guess you have finished it. So here, first of all, you are going to read the uh, question carefully, so you can see it is a two hundred kilometer rate and carry uh, twenty liter of petrol in the first one hundred forty four uh, forty forty three kilometer. The car used uh, eleven lit of petrol, so you just do the calculation like this one. Okay, this is just like something like this one. Okay, you just rearrange it. So for A, uh, the rate of petrol used, okay, then you just put down the rate, and the, for the liter, that is 11 liter, and then divide by 143 kilometer, and that will be 1 over 13 liter per kilometer. Okay, I guess it is simple. And then, if the car consumes, uh, continue to consume the petrol at the same rate, that does the driver have enough petrol? So you should calculate how many does uh does he lead? So he lead. That will be equals to okay one divided by thirteen. That is the rate, and then you multiply it by two hundred minus one hundred forty three kilometer. Okay, so you have one over thirteen multiplied by fifty seven. Okay, and that is about. Uh, four pawn three eight liter. Okay, so you can see actually, uh, it is smaller than nine liter. So he has enough petrol. Is it clear for you? And for this one, actually, it has come from twenty minus eleven liter. Okay. That's all for 3.1.